they have trillions of dollars in their hands. These families have enormous combined wealth and influence global trade and even politics. Undoubtedly, their wealth and power were gained through strong family ties and hard work. But today these families can be called the most powerful in modern history. Many of them are the main characters in the conspiracy theory. Before we begin, please subscribe to the channel and like this video, we will be very grateful. The Rockefellers The wealth of the Rockefeller clan is legendary. No one knows for sure the total amount of the family's wealth, but it is rumored to be between $1 trillion and $3 trillion. John Rockefeller, the first dollar billionaire in history, brought the clan fame. In the late 19th century, the family controlled 90% of the oil on the U.S. market. Almost all modern oil companies in America have their origins in the Rockefellers. Two world wars only strengthened the family's wealth. It helped both Germany and the Allied coalition. Now, in addition to the banking and oil business, the Rockefellers are also actively involved in charity and cryptocurrency. Conspiracy theorists consider the family members to be the heads of a secret world government and supporters of the idea of the Golden Billion. The Morgans Fans of various political theories assume that the Morgan clan determines the political course of the United States and controls all the banks in the world. The ancestor of the Morgan clan, John Pierpont Morgan, founded the first financial empire in the United States. He was an arms dealer during the Civil War, for which he almost went to trial. And in 1907, he prevented the collapse of the banking system. To this day, members of the Morgan clan continue to be the most influential bankers. Their banks have branches not only in the United States but also in Europe. Family members ran the General Motors and General Electric companies. Saudis The Saudis are a royal dynasty that has ruled Saudi Arabia since 1932. Today, the head of the family is King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the total number of Saudis reaches 25,000 people. The head of the family has almost absolute political power, and family members hold important government and military positions. Saudis can take any position within the country. The family holds 20% of the world's oil reserves. The Rothschilds The Rothschilds were one of the richest families already under Napoleon I. The dynasty was founded by Amschkel Mayer Rothschild. In Germany, he built a large banking business and created his financial empire. When he died, Amschko left his heirs a will in which he outlined his views on the management of the empire. And for more than 200 years, the Rothschilds have been following these rules. There are various rumors and theories surrounding the family. Some claim that the family controls all the wealth of the world and financial institutions. Others say that it is the Rothschilds who encourage and sponsor most wars. The current fortune of the Rothschilds is estimated at about $2 trillion. They are engaged in investments, trading, and banking. The family owns several vineyards, oil, and natural gas companies. The Baruchs The Baruchs' fortune is smaller than that of the Rothschilds and Rockefellers, but their influence is much greater. The founder of the Baruch clan, Bernard Baruch, was an advisor to five U.S. presidents and a great friend of Winston Churchill. It was he who coined the term Cold War and led the project to create the atomic bomb and the International Atomic Energy Agency. Baruch is credited with creating the idea of a world government. Little is known about the heirs to Baruch's empire. He had two daughters and a son. His son Bernard Baruch Jr. died in the 90s of the last century. There is no reliable information about Bernard's grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Rumor has it that they are being deliberately hidden, but the Baruchs are still in charge of the U.S. government. The Waltons In 1962, entrepreneur Sam Walton opened the first Walmart store. And thus, he entered the list of the richest people in the world. Over time, the Walmart chain of stores became the largest in the United States. 
After Sam Walton's death, his wife and four children took over the company. In addition to the supermarket chain, the Waltons run Arvest Bank. They own a collection of artworks and a family charity foundation. The Murdochs The Murdoch family media moguls began building their empire in Australia. Keith Murdoch was a political columnist for a Melbourne newspaper. He was appointed editor-in-chief. Over time, Keith increased the circulation of the newspaper and became the CEO. His son Rupert also became a journalist. Having taken over the leading Australian publications, Murdoch created the news corporation Media Holding. Today, the Murdochs own the 20th Century Fox Film Company, Fox News, the MySpace Social Network, and the Dow Jones Stock Company. The News Corporation was accused of illegal wiretapping of the royal family and celebrities, as well as bribing police and intelligence officers. Rupert is a very popular personality in pop culture. He became the prototype of the villain in the Bond film Tomorrow Never Dies, the prototype of media mobile Logan Roy in the TV series The Heirs, and was mentioned in the TV series The Big Bang Theory and The Simpsons. Oppenheimer's the Oppenheimers own most of the world's diamond and gold reserves. The founder of the clan, Ernest Oppenheimer, moved to Kimberley, South Africa. There he first became the mayor of the city and then headed one of the diamond mining companies. Soon, Ernest captured the global diamond mining and sales market. Today, the diamond empire is run by Ernest's grandson, Nick Oppenheimer. The family is engaged in the extraction and sale of not only diamonds, but also gold, iron ore, platinum and industrial minerals. The Pritzkers The family of Jewish immigrants moved from Kiev to Chicago in 1881. The Pritzkers own the Hyatt Corporation. It is a hotel company that sells hotels and resort tours. The corporation includes 777 hotels in 54 countries. The Pritzkers founded their award in the field of architecture. They now live in Chicago, where they have formed their own school of architecture. In many ways, the family determines the appearance of the city. That's it. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you in the next videos.